Ooh. Hash Rhymes dropped us this link for the beacon. So we're going to take a look right now. They have a mint coming up in December. Settlement launch on November 25th till December 24th. You can try out the gameplay for free, collect limited NFTs, and get on the allow list for the mint on the 16th. They have 31 and a half thousand followers. Where's the Annie key? Ooh, I'll take a tab. Dude, I actually really like these graphics. Like this pixel art. I wonder if I can zoom out at all. Yeah, though. that was the first thing. I like. It's pretty close up. I like how it's dancing a little bit while it's just sitting there. Yeah, it's kind of got this like parallax thing when I move my mouse around. So I've got nothing in inventory. My character, and I can't customize anything in here. So try to see if you can leave that house. Maybe there's a world outside. All right. Oh, I can't. Hey. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it looks pretty. I really like the the graphics. I wish it was a little more zoomed out. It's kind of it's kind of got like Link to the Past graphics, which is a game I've been playing a lot lately, and this really reminds me of that a yeah. bit. Dungeon entrance ahead. Should Ooh. we check out a dungeon? Of course. This is Beacon, by the way. If you guys would like to check a take a look right now with the early access, go to thebeacon.gg. Fend off anything that is trying to rip your face off and find an exit. All right. I usually try to fend off things that are trying to rip my face off. Usually. Now, while this sounds very simple, there is one thing you should know. The dungeon floor is ever changing. The walls move and the floors crumble because of the high density of umbra. I think that's how that's pronounced. Exactly. Oh, you talk too much. Let me just get into the dungeon. Can I pick up this sword? Leave that there, soldier. The sword <laughs> has seen better days. Okay. Don't you touch that. So you want me to go into this dungeon and yep. fight for stuff empty handed. I got a stick. <laughs> Oh, I could swing a big stick around. That's good. It's just like Valheim. <laughs> this dude, this is so like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Right? Like, it's... I can see it. Why are you just going in and destroying this cave? Like, Oops, you didn't, like, talk to the owner first. Well, I talked to the guy outside the cave. He was like, you're cool. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record. Baby. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, geez. I like this. This definitely gives me Saturday morning fun times uh, playing a game like this. It's got it's got Zelda Link to the Past vibes, and I love that game. What Although, is the biggest I... connection that you see between those two games? Well, A, there's those little, like, these little urn things. These look just like the ones in A Link to the Past. Just like the overall look, the, the sort of 16-bit graphics we've got here, that's very Link to the Past. The dungeon looks like a dungeon you'd play in Link to the Past. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you can tell it's definitely inspired by Link to the Past. Yeah. What I want to know is what happens when that 46 second countdown that's happening right now in the top right corner goes to zero? Oh, we all die. Is that like how long I'm supposed to go through I the dungeon? I don't know. <laughs> I just saw that. I don't know if I can get any like health or anything. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I'm definitely well, going to die. With that attitude. Come on, run. Oh, you may have just gotten on the white list by playing right now. Ooh. But I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that boy. I ain't. So on shit. Black Friday, I got on the white list. Oh. 